All right, guys, today we rank every milestone game compound from worst to best, and this would be number 12. This is MXGP 2020. This compound is hands down, in my opinion, the worst one we've gotten. All the tracks sucked. The The compound was pretty. It was, it was cool, but there really isn't anything to do outside of play on the, the three really bad tracks that you have. It just felt a bit lazy and there isn't much content inside of it. So in my opinion, MXGP 2020 compound is the worst one we've ever gotten coming in at number 12. Supercross 4 is number 11. Same as MXGP 2020, the tracks just weren't very fun. They were these tiny, itty bitty Supercross tracks that, um, this one was the best one probably, but there were some that were so bad. Uh, the motocross track wasn't that fun playing on the really bad Supercross tracks. You're seeing some of it here. And again, the motocross track, it was okay, but I just found it highly boring and it's unfortunate one of the newest games and it just doesn't hold up to some of the past compounds that they've come out with it just didn't feel like it had any uniqueness to it it felt like it was thrown together very very quickly for the game and just to say they they have a compound in it so supercross 4 coming in at number 11. Number 10 is Supercross 5. Similar to Supercross 4, the tracks just weren't fun. They were easy and cookie cutter and really boring. Um, they didn't have any fun, unique designs to them. They weren't challenging. The motocross track was a bit better than um, Supercross 4, but nothing great. There has been way better tracks in past games. so. Uh, reoccurring theme is that the newer games just seem to have these really boring, uninteresting, unoriginal, cookie cutter tracks that aren't fun to play on. And there wasn't really anything outside of the tracks to do in the compound. So it was really pretty, you know, similar to the other compounds, but I don't care. If it's boring and there isn't much to do, I don't care how gorgeous the compound is. So coming in at number 10 is Supercross 5. Number nine would be MXGP2. Now, this compound was actually really great. It would have been the first compound we ever got from Milestone. It actually was called the test track. You had uh, one supercross track, which you see here, and one motocross track. And the designs of both tracks were really, really well done. They were really fun to play, unique, and just good good overall way better than the tracks the compounds that were uh behind this one the the negative to it was that you just had the two tracks you could free ride in between the two tracks but once you kind of got to the trees it was out of bounds and that was it so it didn't have all the the cool extra stuff that some of the other compounds had uh but for a first compound it was really good really well designed and that is why MXGP2 comes in at number 9. Number 8 would be Supercross 1. This compound was actually pretty cool. It was fun. It had a cool motocross track, kind of an interesting Supercross track and it was a really big compound they had some ramps you can see I wanted to show you they had a breaking bad reference you can see it there really cool um, the environment was awesome it was just kind of a middle of the road compound but it was paid for DLC now that doesn't hurt the ranking on it but it does kind of suck um, but again it kind of suffers from what the other compounds did where cool design free ride two cool tracks some extra stuff but really big compound and there wasn't a ton of other stuff to do in it so um just again middle of the road in my opinion so supercross one coming in at number eight
And we have MXGP Pro coming in at number 7. This compound was actually pretty cool. The motocross track was alright. How it was put in the trees and the deep forest here was pretty cool. The supercross track was kind of meh. I didn't really enjoy the supercross track. But it did have an enduro track. An enduro course, I guess. And, and you'll see that here. Um, it did have some trails scattered out throughout the compound. It had some hills you could climb. Overall, I felt like it was a fairly well-rounded compound. Um, a bunch of stuff to do. And for the most part, the tracks were alright. Uh, again, Supercross track, not that good, but the rest of it was pretty awesome. So, um, very middle of the road, similar to Supercross 1. Yeah, overall, design good, and the extra stuff is what really adds to the, the compound. Plus, it was gorgeous. The setting was absolutely gorgeous. So, MXGP Pro coming in at number 7. Supercross 2 comes in at number 6. This game actually had two different compounds. This would be the paid for DLC one. Now this this compound had a pretty good motocross track, which you see here. Three, I believe, supercross tracks, and they were all pretty good. Uh, one of them was a bit cookie cutter, but for the most part I felt like the designs on the tracks were fun to play and and, and fairly well done overall. There wasn't a ton of extra stuff to do. You could go after some collectibles, and there was a couple ramps to jump on some building rooftops and, and whatnot, but overall, the compound was pretty small. The track designs were great, but not a lot of extra stuff to do. Now, it doesn't always need that, but it is nice when the compound can have good track design and the extra stuff like the trails and whatnot to do, but... Right smack dab in the middle, coming in at number 6 on our ranking list. Coming in at number 5 would be Supercross 3. Now, this was one of my favorite Supercross games ever made, and this compound was pretty freaking awesome. The idea and the design behind it was completely unique. The, they decided to use like a bunch of Supercross tracks and they were the factory replica test tracks is what they did. Really cool idea, awesome, well done. The compound was huge, there was a bunch of free riding, jumps you could take, some hills you could climb, there were some ramps you could hit, and it did have a motocross track, but the motocross track in my opinion wasn't very good, I never liked that track, I just didn't think it was a very good design or just in general a very good track but it was there it was there so extra added bonus I guess and that is why Supercross 3 comes in at number 5 MXGP3 comes in at number 4. It's pretty high on this list, and the reason it's here is because these tracks that they designed, the Supercross track, the Motocross track, were fantastic. Some of the best they've ever done. There was some free riding, a tiny bit of trails in between the two tracks. It wasn't a very big compound, and it was similar, sim blah, 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 similar to Supercross or MXGP2, but better. You could hit some big transfers and free ride it. Uh, more free riding, more freedom. The way the game, the physics were, you could, like I said, hit big transfers and, and whatnot. Some trails, but mostly because the design of these tracks was fantastic. Yes, a bit biased because the game is, the, is my favorite game of all time from Milestone, but even putting that aside, this was a great compound. It was just missing some of the extra trails and and things to do, but overall, fantastic, coming in at number 4. Number 3 would be MXGP 2021. This compound was really cool because it felt like Milestone kind of went back to their roots for the design of this compound. They had three, at least three, decent motocross tracks. They weren't the best, but they were okay. They were okay, they were fun enough, and it was a big, wide-open compound that you could go flying over some of the hills, you could climb some of the hills, they had some deep trails you could go for, and they brought back Enduro. They had two Enduro courses you could take, 
which were fun. They, I believe they might have even had a jump park. And they had fast travel. They had fast travel in this compound. So you could try to get to something. You didn't have to ride all the way through to explore. I mean, you could explore, but you could also just uh, quickly get there with the push of a button. So um, MXGP3, it did feel like they went back to their roots. And that is why we put it at number three. Why it is fairly high on, on this list. So MXGP3 or MXGP2021 coming in at number three. Getting down to the nitty gritty here, Emma, no, Supercross 2 comes in at number 2. This would be the original compound that the game comes with. This compound was awesome. They had fun Supercross tracks, they had a bunch of extra stuff, they had some trails, they had areas to explore, they had these extra ramps you could go for, making it a bit more arcade. Um, the tracks were well designed. And the cool part about it is they kind of went after uh, a Ryan Dungey replica. They had a motocross track built in the cornfield, which was really cool. So it felt like it was still early. And so it felt like Milestone was still putting a bunch of effort trying to come up with good, fun, new, interesting ideas. And, and this compound had it. The trails, the free ride, the tracks, the... The freestyle ramps, the jumps, the there was a small jump park you could go for. So overall, fantastic, fun to play, a bunch of hours spent in this compound. And that is why Supercross 2 comes in at number 2. And coming in at number 1, the best compound ever made by Milestone, in my opinion, is MXGP 2019. This isn't my favorite MXGP game, not even close, but the compound was fantastic. You had two really well designed, really fun motocross tracks, you had a pretty decent supercross track, and you had trails. You could make waypoint trails anywhere on the map and like validate them to be a, a, a course you could follow. They had enduro, they had an enduro course, they had an enduro trail you could follow. You could make your own hard enduro, and it just had so much. It had so much to offer. Uh, big, huge compound. Huge compound, trails, hills, mountains, um, the enduro, the tracks were great. I just really don't have enough good things to say about it. It was the best compound in my opinion, but I'm curious to see what you guys think, your ranking, what your favorite compound is and your least favorite compound is. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.